Welcome on my people them. Welcome back to the channel. Sean Allah here. Teaching you guys how to modify your Steam Deck. Change the theme. Uh, change the boot up. Change the, you know, all the stuff that you could do. Alright. Now, here, I've made a few changes to mine. If you look down here, usually it's gray. The background is gray. And then you have the color of the game behind here. Currently, mine is gray scaled. And I have deep black around it. Hopefully, um... Well, of course, it does help with battery life, but I don't know how how much. All right. Now, what I did was I downloaded a software called Decky Loader. And how you download Decky Loader on the Steam Deck, you have to go to power. All right. And you're going to switch to desktop. All right. Takes a little while to get over there. So let's count down. One. <laughs> okay. That wasn't too bad, guys. All right. So here we go. Now, in order to open the keyboard on the Steam Deck, you have to tap Steam and X at once, so, all right? So, boom. I don't know what happened just now, but here we go. So, we're going to type in Decky Loader, all right? Once you tap there, it's going to wait, all right? We're going to close this. Now, you need to go to GitHub. All right, the one that says GitHub. And you're gonna scroll and look for the download button. You're gonna tap it, right? So once you tap it, it's gonna don download in files. You're gonna click it, all right? Now, well, let me go back there. So you're gonna click it, boom. Okay, here it is in the background. Now. I suggest you go to downloads, right? Once you go to downloads, you're gonna drag this Decky Loader installer to your desktop. Now I've already done it, right? Now once you do that, it's gonna say install Decky. You're gonna tap it, right? And then you're gonna click yes. Once it downloads, guys, if you do not have a password on your stuff, you will not need to enter a password. But if you do, you might need to enter a password, right? Once you're done, all you have to do is go back. You're going to tap return to gaming mode. All right. And then when that loads. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we're back in. All you have to do is tap these three buttons right here, and you're going to notice there's a plug down here. Now, this plug right here, this is the key, all right? Now, there are various things that you could uh, download because there's a store, all right? So you could just go to the store, go through, and explore for all the stuff that you think you'd like, right? Currently, I have three things installed on mine. I have the CSS loader. So what this does is to... Uh, change how my stuff looks so if I turn it off it goes back to this thing that was originally there all right cool you could turn on the outrun thing that gives you like a cyberpunk theme turn that off and you could turn on round right so what this does is to make my my games look round as opposed to just straight up uh, angular so if you look it's now rounded and you could go through and do tons and tons of stuff with it also, Proton DB badges. This tells you once you install that one, it tells you what games run perfectly, uh, what games are just scraping by. Like this one is silver, so it runs, but it's not perfect. And then this one runs perfectly. So Brawlhalla is perfect, GTA is perfect. Both of them are perfect, right? And then I also have Animation Changer. So like when I, let's say for example, suspend. My Steam Deck, it gives me a little, you get me, <laughs> you get me, all right? So, yeah, guys, it's real cool. You could go ahead, download Decky Loader, and see how best you can customize yours, all right? I haven't, like, tingle, tinkle with mine a lot, but, yeah, tell me what you think. Come out down, be down below, tell me if you learned something. If you didn't, or if you have a question, let me know, all right?